what? Sometimes being vulnerable is a superpower. And when we think of vulnerability, it's not exactly looked upon as the as a strength. It's actually looked at as a weakness because that's how we're conditioned to think of it as. And when I mean vulnerability, it means being more honest with yourself, looking inward more at what is holding you back from certain things in your life or certain thought patterns and beliefs that really don't serve you in the long run. And a lot of these things can stem from uh, personal trauma, social conditioning, seeking the familiarity, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, but being afraid to break out of that familiarity because familiar is comfort. That's how we learn it as. And that's kind of a human condition that we all have on some level. That's why it's sometimes hard to branch out. It's hard to get out of the comfort zone because if it were easy, we'd all be doing it. And uh, it's almost like you go out into the world and you never know really what you're stepping into. Yes, you might have an idea of what to expect, but there's so many different things that can go in so many different ways. But when we come home to what is supposed to be our sanctuary, we have a familiarity, a comfort. Uh, we know that the people there are going to love us, or we'll have that favorite pet that will come to greet us at the door, or we'll be able to have that cup of tea that we really like, or wear the comfortable clothes, or uh, watch that program, or just be in solitude and relax and get away from all the the collective energy and in itself that is okay there are some familiar things that are a good thing for our lives they give us strength to carry on with the things that aren't that easy but in it lies a balance when we allow familiar behaviors or familiar patterns to hinder us and restrict us from different uh, experiences or venturing out into things that will serve us better 